Hi everyone, Pete Calamain here. I hope you're having an awesome day. So in today's video, I would like to show you how you can do silkscreen preparation on a PCB in Altium Designer. By the way, if you want more tips and tricks like this, feel free to join my free community. It's in the links below. Now imagine that you have a PCB like this. The board outline is over here. We do see that there is some silkscreen outside of the board edge. If you would look at it in 3D, you see that this is overlapping. So that will pose a problem during your manufacturing. Also, what we do see is that some text label is off here, uh, a bit to the side, and this one is completely off. Now, I'll show you a very quick way to do silkscreen preparation with Altium. The simple way is to go to Tools, Silkscreen Preparation, and there's a couple of options. Let's say that we go with the design rules for now, and we can have a certain minimum remaining length that we would have. So for now, maybe let's set it at a minimum of 0.15. If you do that, um, also may be interesting to check delete silkscreen outside of the board shape. This will then allow us to have the silkscreen that is outside uh, be deleted. So let's check this. And then you see that indeed everything that is outside of the board shape in terms of lines that existed is now deleted. We still see that we have an issue with the text labels over here. Now for that there is an option as well. So if you go to silkscreen preparation, you can select move text. And basically what that will do is, if there's any text outside of the board outline, it will shift it inside of that outline. What you see now is that the silk or the, the text label here is nicely inside of the area or the board edge. Same thing over here. In 3D, of course, yeah, it looks nice as well. And this is now using the design rules. You also see that there is silk screen over here that is being retained. We can increase or decrease the size that you want to retain. So let's say that these smaller bits, you don't want them. You want at least to have half a millimeter. You can select that or maybe deselect the move text. And then you see that these smaller ones are gone as well. So a very simple way to do the silk screen preparation. You can also take it one step further if you wish. So maybe let's step back to where we started first. Then if you go to the silk screen preparation, you can also not use the design rules. Now, for instance, clip to exposed copper, clip to solder mask openings. What does this mean? Basically, there's silk over here. We want to maybe decrease um, the length of this line or increase the distance between this one and this pad. Um, this is certainly important if you would have a silk screen near to, for instance, a QFN pad or a copper pad of a controller. It shouldn't be too close because you need to be able to assemble your electronics as well. So maybe let's say that indeed we want a silk screen clearance of at least 0.25 a minimum remaining length of 0.5 and we will delete outside the board. You will see that this will decrease. So it has decreased, it's still there, but the size here has decreased to maintain, I think the 0.25 from the hole. Again, we can select the move text, but I think you get the ID uh, by now. So this gives you a lot of options to make sure that your silk screen is correct. So again, the silk screen preparation, if this would be, um, an IC pad, um, it might be ideal indeed that the silk screen is not too close, but because it will be difficult to place your components. So a lot of interesting things that you can do with this very simple trick. So I hope this video was interesting for you. Of course, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll be happy to help. If you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you want to join my free community, it's in the descriptions below. We have more hints, tips and tricks like these in there. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.